Back right here on Pump It Up, still hanging out in Jersey City. You grew up here in Jersey City? No, I grew up in East Orange, where we were just at. That's where I'm from. Um, I moved over here like about a year and a half ago. So you're such a role model to a lot of girls. Does it make you feel, you feel any pressure whatsoever? Because a lot of rap artists, a lot of artists don't want to be considered a role model. It's just, and I It's kind of been that. thrown on you because as far as female rappers, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? We don't have too many, you know? So it's been like Latifah, Latifah, Latifah. Well, like, if, if something that I do helps somebody, then I'm happy. Yeah. But that is not to say that I'm perfect either. So to be, you know, it's, they shouldn't expect perfection. And they should look f for role models in themselves, mm -hmm. you know, as opposed to expecting someone else to be strong for them. Because you really got to be strong for yourself nowadays because yeah. it's a cruel, cruel world. It sure is. Trust me. Where would you like to see yourself a couple years from now, say, five? Five. Maybe I'm one of these things, you know, it's like, um, five years from now, definitely financially secure. Me and my whole family, and, and uh, my whole flavor of the family as well. I want everybody to be good to go, you know, as far as having their goals, you know, having their, their path set for what they want to do in the future and having accomplished things. Yeah. And, you know, ten years from now, I want to be, like, retired, sitting on an island somewhere with Dexter St. Jock. I knew it! I knew he was gonna say that. I was, I was, that's, what I, that's why I asked you the question, girl. You was gonna say that. We out of here, y'all. <laughs>
All right, all right. We'll be back with more Naughty by Nature. Be one of the first 50 people to write the Flavor Unit music, and you can receive a free cassette single of Latifah's added up to here. And everything's going to be all right from Flavor Unit artist Queen Latifah and Naughty by Nature. This is D. Stay tuned for more hype videos on Pump It Up. Back right here on Pump It Up, still hanging out with Naughty by Nature. You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. <laughs> what, what inspired you guys to, to write that song? Well, I didn't have a girl. Anytime time I had a girl, she ran off with somebody else, so that was my only way of getting back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but with the whole scare of AIDS and, and everything, I mean. Well, I, I think like this. There's a whole lot more of these than there are diseases out there. And you know it's the 90s, and you know what you got to do to protect yourself. So you got to do promote safe sex. Definitely. Definitely. All right. Yeah. Well, that's what it's Because that, that is important, because the kids get out there, and they're like, OK, yeah, I'm down with OPP, but. You gotta know what's behind it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and let's talk about the new thing. The ghetto bastard, everything's yeah. gonna be all right. That was, uh, that was like feelings that was going up inside all of us, you know, as we was coming up, because a lot of people ain't know what was going on before OPP, the uh -huh. struggle that we had to go through. Yeah. It was like, I ran into problems with my moms because, you know, I wasn't doing nothing for myself but running the streets. I wasn't bringing no dough home to help out the family, so yeah. she was getting tired of it, and I had to go. You know, and it's like, if I had, like, a father there with me, mm -hmm. you know, the stuff that I was doing, a lot of it I wouldn't have got over with, or I wouldn't even tried, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because he was there. It's like, after a while, your mother could save us so much, and you bigger, and you going to do what yeah, you want to do with all this. And you guys actually did the video around here, right? Right, yeah, here. right, right here, here, on this strip. Right here. We're walking on. Uh -huh. right this on. is one segment here. Uh-huh. Yeah. And why would you call yourself a, a ghetto bastard? Well. Ghetto bastard? It just describes us, you mm -hmm. know? Describe what I, it's like how I, I was feeling inside. You it's know? like a fatherless child in the ghetto. You know, so it's just a, the way to say it, you know. All right, then. Let's see that video. Somebody introduce that. That's right. This is our new one. Everything's going to be all right. And everything will be all right if you stay tuned and everything's check it out. Everything's going to be all right. All right. Yo, what up? This is Naughty by Nature. And even though you're down with OPP, it's up to you to be safe by choice. So use a condom. Here's your membership. Damn, Damn Skippy. Right. Coming up next week, the Mighty Boogie Down Productions in full and total effect, knocking these sucker frauds out. Bro, bro. D and the guys went to KG's Jersey studio where Naughty by Nature's sound got its start. Back right here on Pump It Up, still hanging out with Naughty by Nature, the whole flavor unit definitely in effect right here. Now, where are we? Chilling out. The head the house, the head the head this is KG's line. This is where it all started. So what kind of problems you guys having now? You know what I mean? After blowing up with OPP and everything we were talking about earlier. Well, it was like, it's like good to have fans, but we have people out there now. It's like impersonators mm -hmm. that go to shows, certain shows, and they like say they us, and they start to perform and get dough and then jet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. One thing I suggest, if you have a show and you pay money to get up in there, and it's not us, then hold them until we get there. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll take care of What's coming up for Naughty by Nature? Tour 1942. The whole 1942. Just came the Public Enemy Tour. How was that? Oh, it's great. It's my Lovely. Man. We want to thank everyone for coming out. Work, Especially work. Chuck D for having us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He inspired me a whole bunch from last year when I was out there, just as like a roadie, you know what I'm uh -huh. saying? And just, he, he pumped so much up into me, man. I jetted home. Who are some of your stuff. influences? They're, they're just, you know, see Public Enemy, Chuck D, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. KRS-1. Uh-huh. Jack Ice Jeff. Jack Ice Jeff. Jeff. Ice Jeff. Ice Jeff. Ice Jeff. Yeah. D-Nice. Kate Capri. Yeah. Red Alert. Uh huh. Word up. It's Hold like it's, it's a lot. It name goes so on. Yeah. On and on. There you have it. Pump it up. Coming up next week, we'll give you a chance to enter the rap along with KRS One contest here on Pump It Up. The winner will record a rap in the studio with the Blastmaster himself, KRS One. Tune in next week to find out full details on how you can enter the win. Keep writing, 5746 Sunset Boulevard, Hollywood, California, Los Angeles, California. It'll get here. 90028, Sister D. Right here on Pump It Up, we got Naughty by Nature. Check this out from the soundtrack Juice. 
Word up, here we go, yo, 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 hit a brother, kill a brother, we'll come back. See a sucker, stretch a sucker, guard your neck. Cussing wasn't nothing, tell a black man rap. See a 40, sucker 40, guess who's back? You're chilling with the little Vinnie Bill. Huh. You're stepping through the puny 40 pumps, catching pills. Say what? I had so many guts, call me Dara, I'm the bread and butter punk. Uh, uh, yeah. Coming from the gun, uh -huh. come on, brand new steady, heavy as a Chevy, Chevy. ready for the pity petty. I'm pretty ready. Come again, place your bet on the vet. A three man threat. What you see is what you get. Don't pump it up, believe it. Uh, what do you think we could do as artists to stop all of that that bootlegging, the tapes, the black market, and the shirts, all of that? I mean, it's a it's a real problem in the industry. It is. I don't know really what to do, cause. I could go up to a stand and see my tape there and take it, and a cop will lock me up for that when it's illegal to sell it from the door. So what can right. you do? So these guys, they have, like, permits to sell illegal merchandise. Don't get it. I don't know. Don't get in it. In one venue, we was in the venue, and they were selling tapes inside of the venue. So after yes. they see you perform, instead of going to the record store and you getting the sales that you're supposed to get, they were getting them right there. You know the new one now? When we go to our shows, they have people come up to us and ask us to sign autographs. And it's pictures taken right off these magazines, out these magazines. And, and they, they press sell them. And yeah, sell them yeah, for like $2. Right yeah. That's it. End of another episode right here on Pump It Up with Sister D. I got a brief tour of Town, talking about East Orange, New Jersey, with the Flavor Unit. I want to yeah. thank everybody in the Please, Flavor Unit, the whole family, oh, yeah. for coming out. The late ones right here. Too much. I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying I'm shortcut in the house. All right, all right. Peace to Shot Cam and Mandy. We out. Yo, it's a hole in the gate. We got a comment. Let's go. Isn't that deep? Isn't that lovely? Check it out. Much respect and peace to Queen Latifah, Naughty by Nature, and the Flavor Unit Posse. Next week, Dee's still in New York, and she'll be in the studio talking with the educator himself, KRS One, and members of the BDP crew. You'll also find out how to enter the win Pump It Up's rap along with KRS One contest. You don't want to miss it. Oh, they're big. Oh, they're real big. Duchess and Doc. Duchess and Doc. I'm scared of them.